I've got my fare with only a trifle to spare. The Andrews sisters sing us into another lookout season opener. America's pastime is back in the scenic city. What a night it was in North Atlanta for the Atlanta Braves as they debut with a 5-2 win in a sold out brand new SunTrust Park. Sports is meant to be a distraction from the everyday grind or struggles of life. But even sports can't distract from the tragedy that took place today in our beautiful city. So tonight isn't about the wins and the losses. It's about those who lost what can't be replaced. And some of the state's biggest athletes are doing their best to help. Sending love and prayers. Tennessee quarterback Josh Dobbs tweeting, Our heart goes out to those affected by the bus crash in Chattanooga. For the last two weeks, we've been tracking local stories, local angles to Super Bowl 51. Our very own Jill Jelnick has a special one or a special two, if you will, a pair from North Georgia, season ticket holders for five decades. But something gave way when Richmond came calling this time. Something that, as one source said, gave him an absolute peace about his decision to sign with Richmond this morning. The Lady Vols have won 124 tournament games. That is more than any other program in NCAA history. Pro boxer Ryan Blue Chip Martin is joining us in the studio, fresh off an HBO debut and a knockout win inside, yes, Madison Square Garden. Just what, about 10 days ago? Jim Foster maybe said it best. He said, look at the stat sheet, you see the story. What jumps out to me, points in the paint. They were outscored by Louisville in the paint by 30 points. You can't win that way. Got a prediction? I can't see how the Panthers can lose that game. Oh, the truth. okay. There you have it. Denver wins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true, too. What is cancer? They say it's the closest to death that you'll ever experience. Cancer is sometimes death's doorstep. And you're just stuck in a room and, and you're wondering if you're even, even going to make it. It's sleepless nights, unmotivated days, it's scars, it's chemo, it's stem cell transplants. You're throwing up, your mind's in a different place, you're depressed one second, you're happy the next. It's been the past five years for former Eastridge football assistant Austin Roden. How this all happened at 20 years old. Um, one day I'm healthy, the next day I'm having brain surgery. Five years to knock down, drag out bouts with brain cancer. Austin no longer fears death, but the side effects have left him with little long-term employment options. Austin can't work with computers. The screens cause migraines and a slew of other problems. So he waits tables, for now that is. Enter Heidi Burkhart, New York philanthropist, but more importantly, the brains behind the blank cancer campaign. Austin to me is someone that represents strength, represents resilience, and represents a hope to other cancer fighters that you can defeat it, you can fight. Heidi bought in. Austin is now an ambassador for blank cancer. The plan is for Austin to share his message of fight, faith, and determination with others. I want to take on the challenge to Help a, help a world of people, not just a city of people. Here's where you come in. Blank Cancer has connections with both the NBA and the NFL. Heidi is pushing to have Austin share his message at league games and events. You can show your support with a simple email to Heidi. More on that in just a few moments. Those emails will find their way to both the NFL and the NBA commissioners. You guys have demonstrated it so many times this year that you guys are a loud noise when you guys unite together. And that's what I love about Chattanooga. I'm really just hoping to God that you guys will support Austin to do that much more, to live his dream and inspire me. It's not every day you meet a two-time brain cancer survivor under the age of 26. Austin's clearly still alive for a reason. And now more than ever, he believes that reason is to inspire someone, anyone, faced with even part of what he's battled. Just give me an opportunity and see where I can take it. I'm only one, but I am one. That's the saying my dad told me. It's always stuck in my head. I, I'm only one, but I am one. You know, So if one person can do it, maybe 10 can follow.